it really, when we talk about it's a mindset, like that's really what helped me. At that point, it was all about my mindset. I either just accepted it or, I, or, or fight against it. And that was going to determine whether, I mean, how long I was actually going to make it here. When I first started here, I think one of the first things I had to do was like work on a web design. I actually was not accustomed to working in a very quick, fast, and flexible way, to be honest. And I typically like to take time with planning it out. I, I still was always very organized, but um, I didn't, I wasn't used to like whipping it up in like a few days. I remember feeling initially like, oh, I don't know, this is just not the way I work. And um, I'm not comfortable with this kind of, you know, rate or this expectation. But I also quickly decided that I was going to uh, change my frame of mind around it. I decided, okay, this is a skill I want to build anyway. This is a challenge that, okay, maybe I, I fight against it because I'm a little, it makes me a little scared. You know, maybe it makes me feel like I'm not going to be able to provide what they, you know, uh, what they're asking of me because I don't have the adequate time. That's the story I told myself. I need adequate time to give the best. Also, you know, I have to fight against that perfectionism. Like, I don't want to do things unless it's perfect. It wasn't the first approach in terms of my thought process, but I decided, okay, I'm going to, I want to learn. I want to grow. I actually want to be a quick, I want to be a lot quicker um, in the way I approach my design concepts and I want to be able to meet deadlines faster. So I really just took that on as a challenge and I owned it. And I think that mindset helped me to change and to really uh, actually embrace that kind of fast and flexible approach. And I had to let go Legos even from back then, to be honest, like, you know, I had a way in which I worked. In my mind, that was best practice. And in my mind experience, that's the way that we're supposed to do things. But I, I was able to let go of those Legos and um, adapt because, again, every company you work for is not exactly the same. We, there are best practices, and we should always bring those best practices into everything that we do. But we also have to be mindful of the culture in which, you know, of the, the, the company that you're working with. And, and it's not, it's different with each um, company. I don't take failure as something to, like, is the, the end of me. Failure is just a learning step to the next thing. I can learn and do better next time. This is, you know, a growth opportunity because at the end of the day, it doesn't change the deliverable. The deadline still needs to be met. The thing still needs to be created and I'm still accountable for making it happen. So whether that's me doing it myself or actually finding team members who can handle that better than I can, it's one or the other. And I think that is the art of delegation of like, honestly, bringing on team members that you know, hey, you know, Ferrado is better at designing certain things than I am. By all means, I want to equip him to actually handle that. If Chelsea's better at managing, you know, project managing in certain aspects, like I want to empower her to do that because that, that helps me honestly do what I need to do um, better. That's how I approach my work here. And, and thus far, it has been quite successful. Um, and um, I'm really just happy for the opportunity that Quanta's um, given me to kind of uh, grow in that way. So that's it. I can be a boost, 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 boost.